the mathematics of the cosmos. But there's another way to explore the universe. You can do it with math. This isn't mysticism. It's the sober logic of scale. The sheer size of the universe makes it likely that we're not alone. We may not have proof yet, but the numbers themselves suggest we are probably not alone. Here's what else we know. Stars form out of collapsing clouds of gas and dust. And here on Earth, we have a lot of gas and dust, too. In our solar system, eight planets and a dwarf planet formed around our star. And again, this is not unique. Other stars have planets. Some will have one or two. Others will have dozens. Some of those planets will be twins of Earth or nearly twins. On those planets, complex chemistry could take place, leading to cells, to genes, to reproduction, to evolution, to species. Maybe on some of those planets, life would go through the same evolutionary process that we did, leading to species and then to civilizations. Maybe on some of those planets, the conditions would be suitable for life. Maybe all of these things have happened, are happening or will happen in the future. Maybe other intelligent species are watching our skies, wondering if we are alone. The universe is so vast that it seems improbable that we are alone. The question isn't whether life exists elsewhere, but what life exists elsewhere. Are we really so special? Probably not. Are we really so unique? Almost certainly not. In a vast system like this, it's likely that complex structures will emerge more than once. We may not have proof yet, but the numbers themselves suggest we are probably not alone. So the farther we look into space, the farther back in time we're seeing. Our universe is at least 94 billion light years across. At the speed of light, it would take 100,000 years to cross it. If the universe is infinite, then there are an infinite number of galaxies, stars, and planets out there. Here on Earth, we tend to think of ourselves as very special. We have life. Maybe we even have consciousness or soul. Make stars form from clouds of gas and dust. They shine for a few billion years before collapsing into white dwarfs, neutron stars or black holes. Planets form from swirling disks of material around young stars. In other words, life may not be unique to Earth. If life is not unique, then perhaps consciousness is not unique either. Who are we? Are we alone? What is the meaning of life? In the grand scheme of things, we are very unlikely to meet any of our cosmic cousins. I'm the host. This is our Galaxy 83. Do you like this video? If so, you can download the full resolution images for free.